Sushir and Dilip were having tea at a roadside stall. Dilip says he's planning to buy a car next month. Sushil says he's planning to buy a house but only after 5 years. But why wait for so long? asks Dilip. Sushil says buying a house is not easy as buying a car. It requires at least 50 lakh rupees. Dilip asks him to explain. Like Dilip, you may also have wondered why Sushil wants to wait for such a long time to buy a house. The answer is hefty down payment and burden of EMIs. To buy a house, a significant down payment is required so that the EMI can be as low as possible. Apart from the down payment, there are other expenses that borrower has to make. Banks usually do not finance these expenses. Let's find out how Sushil can save money for making down payments to buy his dream home after the next 5 years. Until a few decades ago, houses were purchased or built by putting together all the resources. But nowadays, properties are bought on EMIs. In metro cities like Mumbai and Delhi, a decent flat or house will cost between 50 lakh to 1 crore rupees. Banks usually finance 80% of the property value. This will be over 35 lakh rupees. That means you have to arrange remaining 20% yourself. According to Sushil's budget, he will be able to buy a house worth 50 lakh rupees as of today's date, but he will buy the house after 5 years. Now it is obvious that the price of the property which is 50 lakh rupees today will be more than that after 5 years. On an average, there will be capital appreciation of 5 to 6% on an annual basis. Therefore, the price of the property which is valued at 50 lakh rupees today will be around 64 to 67 lakh rupees after 5 years. It is not necessary that the price of the property will increase at a rate of 5 to 6% annually. It may also increase or decrease. Here, we will assume that Sushil will get this property for 65 lakh rupees. 80% of 65 lakh rupees is 52 lakh rupees. Sushil will have to arrange the remaining 13 lakh rupees for down payment. Also, on adding stamp duty, registration charges, lawyer fees and other expenses, it will cost around 5 to 6 lakh rupees. Which means after 5 years, Sushil will need to make a payment of approximately 18 to 19 lakh rupees himself. He will have to arrange for the down payment on his own. Planning for making down payment depends on the salary of the borrower. As per standard rules of personal finance management, 20% of the salary should go into savings. Sushil should use the savings to arrange for down payment of his house. For example, if Sushil's salary is 1 lakh rupees per month, he should save 20%, that is 20000 rupees every month. If he invest this amount in mutual funds through SIP, he will be able to accumulate a total of 16 lakhs 49727 rupees after 5 years. This is of course assuming an annual rate of return of 12% in mutual funds. The returns are market based. So returns are subject to fluctuations. तो हमारा ये कहना होता है कि यदि आपको पांच साल के बाद बनाना है घर अपना हिसाब करिए और हर महीने की जितनी भी सेविंग्स हैं उनको इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड में लगाइए इक्विटी में पैसा बढ़ता है पर उसको बढ़ने के लिए समय देना पड़ता है उतार चढ़ाव मार्केट के बहुत रहते हैं इसलिए उनको छोटे थोड़े समय के लिए नहीं रखा जा सकता है तो पांच साल के ऊपर का अगर यदि आपको रखना है तो आप इक्विटी में पैसा लगाएं किसी भी सिंपल इंडेक्स फंड में भी लगाएंगे तो भी आपका पैसा बहुत अच्छा बन जाएगा तीन और चार साल के बाद आप देखना शुरू करें कि मार्केट की क्या सिचुएशन है और फिर उसको निकालने का उपक्रम करें अगर आज से आपको दो साल के बाद बनाना है तो फिक्स डिपॉजिट बहुत अच्छी जगह है आप आर कर लीजिए आप फिक्स डिपॉजिट कर लीजिए जो जो मतलब जो बल्क में आपके पास पैसा है उसके लिए आप फिक्स डिपॉजिट कर दीजिए फॉर डाउन पेमेंट एंड अदर एक्सपेंसिस सुशील विल बी एबल टू अक्यूमलेट एन एस्टिमेट एन अमाउंट ऑफ सिक्सटीन लाख रुपीज आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स इवन देन ही वुड फॉल शॉर्ट ऑफ टू टू थ्री लाख रुपीज द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ विल दिस बी अरेज द सोल्यूशन लाइज इन सुशील्स एनुअल इंक्रीमेंट Sushil's monthly income will not remain 1 lakh rupees for 5 years. There will be some increment every year. This way, he can invest in mutual funds. He can increase the investment in mutual funds by 10 or 20% of his annual increment. He will be able to pay the remaining amount by increasing his investment in mutual funds because of pay hikes.
आजकल क्या होता है कि 80 प्रतिशत तक तो हमें लोन मिल जाता है पर वो 20 प्रतिशत जो पैसा है उसके लिए हमें फिर भी अपने पे पैसे की या डाउन पेमेंट की जरूरत पड़ती है बहुत से लोग उसके लिए पर्सनल लोन या क्रेडिट कार्ड लोन लेने की चेष्टा करते हैं हमारे अनुसार और हर एडवाइजर के अनुसार वो एक गलत तरीका होगा आपकी कीमत इतनी ज़्यादा बढ़ जाएगी पैस घर की कि आपको चुकाना मुश्किल होगा उससे अच्छा ये है कि आप बचाएं पैसे को जमा करें और उसके बाद घर खरीदें इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट योर सैलरी शुड बी एज मच एज दैट ऑफ सुशील देर फोर वाइल प्लानिंग फॉर द डाउन पेमेंट यू शुड ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड योर सैलरी एंड ऑल्सो आफ्टर हाउ लॉन्ग यू वॉन्ट टू बाय योर ड्रीम होम Stay invested in equity mutual funds for at least five years. First, create an emergency fund so that you can withdraw money during emergencies. Only the down payment will not suffice. Home loan comes with the burden of monthly EMI. Before buying a house, you should make sure that your budget is not disrupted by the EMI.